we are good evening to one and all thank you for joining with us all. i welcome you all in today's live facebook program on current challenges and management of fatty liver i would like to introduce you all our speaker for the day dr nirpan sekia sir has done his mbbs md from aims and dn being gastroenterology sir is currently senior consultant gastroenterologist and endoscopist at psri hospital delhi doctor has numerous publications and research papers on his name so on this note i would like to hand over the session to dr nirpan sekia just yeah hi good evening hi good evening can you hear me yes sir you can continue sir yeah you can hear me uh, yes sir yes sir you can continue yeah, sir good evening to all i am dr nitin saikia as a uh, uh, i am a senior consultant gastroenterologist at pushpavati singhania hospital new delhi and today i am going to say briefly about non alcoholic fatty liver disease and i will uh, tell in few headings and what is uh, fatty liver disease why it is important who develop fatty liver disease and uh, what is the consequence of fatty liver disease and uh, what is the management means what is the treatment what we can do to prevent fatty liver or if somebody has fatty liver what to do to prevent the development of complications so i will start from just uh, little bit about uh, our liver and uh, fatty liver that means deposition of fat in the liver so what is liver liver is a large organ that usually lies in our right side of our abdomen and it is uh, around 1.2 to 1.5 kg in a weight in a adult it has tremendous function both synthetic function and also metabolic functions other way we can call it the liver is a chemical factory of our body it is a chemical factory it uh, metabolizes all the nutrients received from the intestine then it takes some required um, those required for the body and those not required they metabolize and excrete normally so liver cell does not contain significant amount of fat that means liver mein jo cells hote hai jo hepatocyte hum bolte hain unme bahut zyada fat nahi rehte uh, usually less than 5% fat rehte hai and if the fat content of a liver cell is more than 5% then we call it a fatty liver disease fatty liver that means liver mein sarve ikattha ho raha hai jo normally hote nahi so ये फैटी लीवर क्यों होते हैं ना और इसका वजह से क्या हो सकते हैं वेन देर इज ए सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑफ फैट डिपोजिशन इन द लीवर दैट इज कॉल्ड फैटी लीवर है ना और वी वी कॉल इज स्टेटोसिस सिंपल फैट डिपोजिशन वी कॉल इज स्टेटोसिस कभी कभी ये फैट है जो है ये फैट का वजह से लीवर सेल में इन्फ्लेमेशन होते हैं और उनको वी कॉल इज स्टेटो हेपाटाइटिस और स्टेटोसिस नैस नॉन एल्कोहलिक स्टेटो हेपाटाइटिस और यही जो इन्फ्लेमेशन होते हैं इन्फ्लेमेशन शरीर में कहीं भी जगह में आवर बॉडी देयर इज ए इंजुरी आदर इट इज ए स्किन और इट इज ए आईज इट इज ए नोज वेन देयर इज ए हिलिंग होते हैं उसमें इन्फ्लेमेशन हिलिंग होने की वजह से थोड़ा सा स्कारिंग होते हैं दिस इज कॉमनली वी कैन सी इन द स्किन वेन देयर इज ए इंजुरी द इंजुरी हिल बाय लिविंग एज स्कारिंग देर इज ए स्पॉट same things happen to the liver when there is inflammation to the liver cells because of fat that when inflammation heals this leaves a scar that is called scarring so e non alcoholic fatty liver disease jo hote hai isko kyu naam diya hai non alcoholic fatty liver disease hum log ko sabko pata hai jo alcohol significant amount mein lete hai agar somebody is taking a significant amount of alcohol that is mean more than 50 grams per per day over a period of time unka liver mein bhi liver cell ka andar bhi kuch fat deposition hona shuru ho jata hai wo starting hote hai that is called alcoholic liver disease 
it start with a fatty liver then that progress to inflammation that is called alcoholic hepatitis hepatitis and some patient of alcoholic hepatitis progress to scarring that is inflammation healed by scarring that is called fibrosis and those having a fibrosis over a period of time they develop liver cirrhosis liver cirrhosis is a permanent damage damage to the liver cells which is irreversible or irreversible damage to the liver cell is called liver cirrhosis the same thing happen when there is a fat accumulation not because of significant alcohol that is called non alcoholic fatty liver disease this was first observed in 1980 1980 mein pehle dekha gaya tha that do do log alcohol nahi lete hai aur thoda sa weight zyada hai un log ka liver mein kuch changes ho raha hai then scientists has observed that there is a accumulation of fat and from that time this non alcoholic fatty liver disease was started and it has gained the momentum in the last two decades and this is the now going to be the most common cause of liver liver disease all over the world because accumulation of fat leading to in liver inflammation then liver fibrosis and ultimately liver cirrhosis so non alcoholic fatty liver disease is a spectrum of disease started with a simple deposition of fat in the liver then some of the people with fat accumulation over progress over a period of time to inflammation that is called nas this is a sub type of non alcoholic fatty liver disease and this person having is nas that is means steto hepatitis over a period of time small group progress to fibrosis that is fibro nas fibrosis we call it and those having a significant fibrosis this is fibrosis ko hum classify karte hain f1 f2 f3 f4 significant fibrosis mean f3 fibrosis f4 fibrosis that they progress over a period of time to cirrhosis that mean irreversible damage you cannot come back from that stage so this is a spectrum of disease started with a fatty liver then progress to steto hepatitis then the fibrosis then liver cirrhosis this is the nas now who develop nas ye nas kisko hota hai abhi dekha gaya hai nas is commonly seen people with obesity obesity means jinka weight zyada hai unko unke habit fatty liver hote hai jinko cholesterol zyada hote hai dyslipidemia means high cholesterol rehte hai mostly triglyceride unko liver mein fat ikattha hote hai those patient having some genetic predisposition to develop fatty liver yes there is a genetic component unko fatty liver ho sakte hai inka alawa lean people ko bhi fatty liver ho sakte hai aisa nahi hai je sirf mota hai unko fatty liver hoga jo patla hai unko bhi fatty liver hote hai inko dekha gaya hai je 20% of the total nas people are lean mean they patla they are not obese so un, but they have some risk factor so person having overweight type 2 diabetes dyslipidemia or metabolic syndrome they are more prone to develop fatty liver disease without taking alcohol if somebody is taking a significant alcohol unke liye do type ka attack ho jata hai liver cell mein one is alcohol another is fat and uh, now agar fatty liver hua hai ye kya badi why it is important that is i told you that it progress over a period of time small amount of people uh, proportion of people progress to liver cirrhosis and develop cirrhosis related complications but it doesn't happen immediately it happens over a period of time if somebody has fatty liver on that people 10 to 15% can progress to liver cirrhosis over a period of say 20 to 25 years not before that and other risk factors yes sometimes fatty liver can ha happen because of some viral infection hepatitis c some drugs are there medicines and that, that can also cause fatty liver but to say non alcoholic fatty liver disease we have to rule out significant alcohol intake we have to rule out medicine drugs we have to rule out hepatitis c all the causes we have to rule out so this is a non alcoholic fatty liver disease now 
क्या सिम्टम्स होते हैं नॉन अल्कोहलिक फैटी लीवर डिजीज है मोस्ट ऑफ द पेशेंट नाइन्टी परसेंट लोगों को पता ही नहीं चलता जैसे फैटी लीवर है इंसिडेंटल डायग्नोसिस होते हैं इंसिडेंटल डायग्नोसिस मीन्स आप किसी कारण से अल्ट्रासाउंड किया है पेट का अल्ट्रासाउंड डॉक्टर ने एडवाइस किया है पेट में पेन हुआ था पता चला है लीवर में फैट हुआ है ग्रेड वन ग्रेड टू और ग्रेड थ्री फैटी लीवर है then you realize that okay you have a fatty liver then you search for the cause of the fatty liver q deposit hua hai fat you rule out other causes as i told and if there is no other causes then the person is labeled as non alcoholic fatty liver disease and why it is important if you see it, in the beginning i told that it is going to be one of the most common cause of liver disease all over the world in europe already it is a most common cause of indication for liver transplant overall agar wall mein hum dekhte hain 25% the prevalence is around 25% it is in europe also almost same in asian countries specifically in india if i told that in india it is prevalence is not very less in our country the prevalence is around 30% and it affect all all type of people it can affect children it can affect all age groups there is not like that this age group will develop fatty liver this age group will not that it can develop in children it can develop in middle age it, it can develop in elder also and it progress as the age progresses so, and another important is you see as i told you that fatty liver disease non alcoholic fatty liver disease is associated with other comorbidities like diabetes hypertension dyslipidemia so we said a risk factor for cardiovascular disease if you see the mortality because of three main causes of non alcoholic fatty liver disease mort related mortality sabse common jo cause of mortality hote hai 38 to 40 percent logo ko cardiovascular attack ka wajah se hote hai and around 20% patient patient ko non hepatic non liver related cancer ka bolse bolte hai only 9 to 10% log ko ko death liver related karan se death hota hai that means if somebody has non alcoholic fatty liver disease the cause of death is may not be directly because of liver that that person cause of death may be because mortality may be because of uh, cardiovascular cause or because of non hepatic non liver related malignancy this is nas is a risk factors of malignancy also so that is why it is very important to know about fatty liver disease and if somebody has fatty liver then to diagnose it properly and to take take manas treatment now how we can diagnose fatty liver we can diagnose is very simple the simple way is to do a ultrasound ultrasound will show how much fat is there in the liver it is a uh, 30% say 40% and 50% or grade 1 a grade 2 hai grade 3 hai grade 4 hai if say grade 2 fatty liver hai then we advise the patient to get a liver function test you see the liver function liver function ka me aapka sgot sgpt kaisa hai sgot sgpt high to nahi hai agar sgot sgpt is normal nothing to worry if sgot and sgpt is high that that means there is a some inflammation in the liver then we should evaluate properly we should do further investigation like non invasive investigation fibro scan or elastograph if fibro scan kya hote hai ki ek type ka alta sound nahi hai jo liver mein scarring nahi hua hai ye pata chalta hai और उनका ऊपर डिपेंड करके स्कोर का ऊपर डिपेंड करके हम पे फाइब्रोसिस है जीरो स्कोर है और एफ वन फाइब्रोसिस है एफ टू फाइब्रोसिस है एफ थ्री फाइब्रोसिस है एफ फोर फाइब्रोसिस है ऐसे डिवाइड करते हैं इस इस डन बाय द रेडियोलॉजिस्ट वन फाइब्रोसिस नथिंग टू वरी इफ समबडी हैज एफ टू नथिंग टू वरी यस डेफिनेटली ही हैज टू टेक द प्रिकॉशन सो दैट फैटी लिवर डज नॉट प्रोग्रेस if there is a ft fibrosis definitely it is a matter of concern we have to confirm it by doing other tests there are lot of tests and your doctors will advise which test is required for you not which you to decide and uh, which and not is 
generalize for all patients that everybody should go this test. Okay. But ultimately, the gold standard of diagnosis of fatty liver disease is liver biopsy. Liver biopsy is not usually done routinely. We do in only specific cases where there is a diagnosis is doubtful or where there is to confirm it is a significant fibrosis. Okay. So one year diagnosis is confirmed. Then what is the treatment management? Yes. In the beginning, I told that fatty liver disease occurs with people, in those people with some risk factors. So first thing we have to find out the risk factor. We have to treat the risk factors. Like if somebody is obese, overweight, we have to cut down the weight. If somebody had dyslipidemia, high cholesterol, we have to treat that. If somebody takes alcohol, then we have to cut down that. Okay. So this that risk factor we have to reduce. There is no specific medicine to treat fatty liver. There are a lot of medicine undergoing research. Some medications are in the market which are advised only to specific group of people which have significant fatty liver related fatty liver disease or liver fibrosis. So mainstay of treatment is one is lifestyle changes, dietary modification, weight reduction. Now, what will you do in the lifestyle changes? Lifestyle changes means yes, the exercise is the mainstay of losing weight and cutting the fat in the liver. So minimum 40 minutes daily exercise is very, very important to cut down the excess fat, to burn out the excess fat from the liver. What type of exercise? There is no specific that you should do this exercise or you should not do exercise. Whichever exercise is comfortable or convenient to you, you should do that exercise. But minimum, it should be 42 minutes to one hour daily. Second is, yes, that dietary modification, what are the diets you should be? Your calorie intake should be cut down. Your dietary calorie intake should be cut down. The goal is to that you should loss around 7 to 10 percent of your body weight by cut down your calorie intake and doing physical exercise. Okay. And this calorie reduction should be around 30, 30 percent of the, your total calorie. That means if somebody is taking around say 3,000 calorie, he has to cut down by around 30 percent. Okay. Reduce the dietary sugars. Okay, this is mostly free carbohydrate. There is a fructose con containing diet. So, they have avoid karna sahi hai. Aapko softing bilkul ban karna sahi hai. Switch bilkul kam karna sahi hai. Then, consumption of uh, processed food should be or junk food, which we call that you should avoid. You know, coffee. Yes, you can take. There are some studies show that if you take a two tea cup of coffee, it helps cutting down your fat. Okay, that is it, but not like that. Uh, you have to take it. Okay, and exercise, as I told you, that uh, for 30, 40 minutes to 60 minutes of daily exercise is very important. That has to be persistent and that should be goal oriented. That I have to lose my weight, and, and weight loss should be gradual, not a this is a rapid weight loss. Say, okay, my weight is 80 kilo. Hai, I have to wait. Uh, I have to be in 60 kilo in 10 days. No, it has to be gradual over a period of time. You have to set down, uh, set your goal that next six months I will wait at least 10 percent of the my weight. If you can lose your weight, then your fatty liver will also can be that fat in the liver can be reduced or disease progression can be also reduced. There are studies, the scientific studies, which shows that by lifestyle modification, doing exercise, cutting down your uh, calorie intake and reducing your weight, you can reverse the fibrosis. Say if somebody has F2 fibrosis, that can be reversed. But once cirrhosis, it cannot be reversed. Or this progresses can be, progression can be halted. So this is the mainstay of treatment. 
lifestyle modification, diet, I told you, and exercise. What are the medications? Is there any medication for fat to treat fatty liver disease? Yes, there are some medicines in the market or there are medicines approved by this uh, uh, FDA or both in the America and also in India. And uh, But these are not for all patients. These are for specific group of patients like vitamin A, there's the, which is recommended. There are some other drugs like uh, in India, this is uh, seroglitazone which is uh, also approved by the uh, FDA to use in fatty liver. There are some other molecules which are available in the market. We use those patients with specific indication for fatty liver, not for all. So I, so I think uh, I have covered everything. Uh, thank you. And any question, I can take it up. Thank you so Hello? much, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for such a lucid talk. And I'll take a few questions, sir. Uh, so the first question is, uh, I have grade 3 fatty liver. How dangerous is a grade 3 fatty liver? Is it curable? Yes, uh, you have grade 3 fatty liver. What is your weight? I want to know. And do you have any comorbidity like a diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, or any other hypothyroid do you have? If you have, then you should control that. If you are diabetic, you should uh, consult with your uh, endocrinologist and there should be strict diet con um, diabetic control because we have seen that most of the present with fatty liver have diabetes or those with type 2 diabetes have fatty livers. So, diabetes, if you have health, you should strictly control it. If you have weight, you should have weight, you should have weight. Modification up to karna sahiye. alcohol agar up later to alcohol will cut down karna sahiye. Third issue is if there is a your liver enzymes are raised, as GOT, as GPT is raised, you can do a fibro scan, you can consult a hepatologist or gastroenterologist, and if he suggests you can get a fibro scan. And then obviously we can uh, suggest what you can do. Yes, I want to assure you it's nothing dangerous, don't worry. A lot of people get panic. I have fatty liver grade T. Sir, I have fatty liver grade 2 and F1 fibrosis, F2 fibrosis. Nothing to worry. Yes, just follow your doctor, but whatever instruction he has prescribed you and uh, cut down your calorie intake, do exercise, stick diabetic control and weight loss, your fatty liver can be reversed. Thank you. So next question is, uh, what are the things that we should avoid uh, uh, if, if a person is having fatty liver? As I told you, yes, alcohol, fasting, very, very, very common question that is uh, asked by everyone. Sir, I have a grade 2 fatty liver or I have grade 3 fatty liver. I used to take alcohol twice a week, thrice a week. But uh, what should I do? Should I continue alcohol or uh, do you recommend? The My answer is, this is my... Uh, answer i will not recommend my patient to take continue alcohol if, if he has grade 2 or grade 3 fatty liver or he fibrosis can shows there is a, some amount of fibrosis okay and uh, their literature says literature is also there is uh, no clear cut this is uh, some literature suggests that if yes uh, one drink uh, per day or two in case of female or two drinks per day small drinks uh, in case of male can be allowed, he fulfill other uh, or he maintain other aspect of lifestyle. He do regular excess exercise, he do not take excess calorie or his diabetes is controlled than not. So next question is, uh, how will I come to know that I have fatty liver? Yes, uh, this is a one way is to if somebody has a somebody has a risk factors then they can uh, obviously doctor suggests a lot of tests routine tests uh, routine health checkup some people went for a routine health checkup and they uh, on the blood test it is found that liver enzymes are raised then we advise ultrasound and in ultrasound it is uh, uh, confirmed that the person is has fatty liver or not fatty liver and if somebody want to know yes he can get an ultrasound and uh, you can find out this uh, fatty liver, but we do not recommend. 
We recommend annual health checkup or six monthly health checkup, but we do not recommend that, okay, you should go for an ultrasound and check your fatty liver is there or not, unless you have some risk factors. So, uh, so next question is how much amount of ghee or is a uh, ghee uh, can ghee uh, lead to fatty liver? No consumption of ghee. Not, not there is no. I don't think there is any scientific study that this month of ghee will cause fatty liver. This month of ghee will not cause liver. This is the amount of calorie intake. You see that this is fatty liver is a disease of lifestyle because of sedentary lifestyle and excess calorie consumption. If your my calorie requirement is 2000 calorie and I am eating a 3500 calorie per day, what, where will go? What will, uh, the body will have to store it. So how will it store it? It will store it as a fat because fat is the source of energy. So this calorie will deposit it as a fat, okay? And uh, so there is a no uh, cut off that okay, this mass can be allowed, this mass cannot be. This is the total consumption of calorie. Okay, yes, you should avoid excess uh, calorie and uh, you should avoid excess. Uh, this is free carbohydrate containing foods. Yeah, that's. So next question is, uh, how much time does it take to cure fatty liver? Oh, how much time it take to cure fatty liver? Very difficult question and very nice question. Eh? And how much time, I will say indirectly, how much time take to develop fatty liver? Or how much time take to fatty liver to progress? This is a long duration. Okay. If somebody has fatty liver, as I told you, 100 out of 100 people, 15 to 20 people will progress. 85% do not progress their fatty liver will remain like that is called benign fatty liver yes and uh, uh, how much time to cure that will depend your lifestyle and how much fat you have and how much exercise you do depend upon that but it is shown in studies it is shown that if you do uh, you cut down your calorie intake or if you lost 10 percent of body weight this uh, fatty liver can be reversed in the uh, or halt in the around six months. So next question is: I have grade two fatty liver. Uh, can exercise or diet can alone treat fatty uh, grade two fatty liver, or should I need to take some medicine? You see this: the mainstay mainstay of treatment of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is lifestyle modifications and which include your dietary modification, your exercise, okay, and or your and uh, uh, other habits like if you took, as I told, alcohol, if you take alcohol. So yes, you do exercise, you cut down your calorie intake, your fatty liver can be reversed. Nothing to worry. So next question is, uh, what type of exercise should I do uh, to treat my fatty liver? Yeah, again, I told you, there is no specific that you should do this. You should go, this type of exercise is to, uh, should not do this type of exercise. Yes, this, the goal of doing exercise is to burn out your excess calorie. So we have to burn out. Okay, either you can go for a jogging, you can go for cycling, you can do, you can join gym or you can do some, uh, 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 exercise there and uh, not like that you have to go to the gym you have to do, uh, no, uh, lift weight of uh, 100 kilo uh, no, 90 kilo weight uh, weight lifting is the only exercise not like that yes whatever is comfortable for you that is a jogging it is a cycling or or it is a uh, uh, exercise in the gym or playing some uh, games so we'll you can go for morning walk you can go big walking you can go for running if you walk 10 kilometer uh, daily or if you uh, walk, run 10 kilometer daily in the morning that is sufficient okay so we'll take one last question so uh, can children develop fatty liver yes yes that question i took uh, answer was uh, 
and so I given in the beginning fatty liver can develop in all age groups including children and it is there are a lot of studies showing that fatty liver in children specifically in the developing countries because there is easy access to all the junk foods okay all this uh, and uh, uh, aerated uh, drinks and uh, this fatty liver or lack of exercise physical activity the fatty liver is uh, developing in children right thank you so much sir, for addressing all the queries and thank you for such a wonderful session i'm sure this session would be very helpful for the fatty liver patients and their caregivers i would also like to thank all our participants for joining us and to stay updated more on fatty liver nash naffle do like and follow our page nash 24 by